Hello everybody, this is the Terra Queen Jamila. So I just was sitting here and I was like, oh my God, I have not done a reading on Prince. And I want to start doing my celebrity readings. And so this one um, is just going to be 15 minutes. I'm going to try to make it short and simple. Um, so yeah, Prince actually, the autopsy results was that he died of an overdose of fentanyl which is a cancer drug. I don't know if he had cancer. I don't know. Um, but he was 112 pounds when he died. So why he was using that drug, and it's actually a pretty popular street drug that's worse than heroin. 50 times worse. So I guess there's some stuff that Prince was going through that we didn't know about, of course, because people think that celebrities you know, they put him on a pedestal and, you know, you just never know. So, um, I'm going to do a deviant moon. I love the pretty things. If you want this deck, contact me. I can get it out to you. Um, I'm not taking international orders right now, though. So, just keep that in mind because I had some issues with something going. Uh, some, didn't get, some didn't get through customs. I'm like, oh, okay. So just in the United States, if you need supplies, contact me. Anyway, um, my website is down right now, but if you want a reading, uh, my readings are 50% off, just to let you know that. Um, so you can get a reading for as little as $25, okay? And I'll be running that special indefinitely. All right, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call to the spirits for Prince. We love you, Prince, we love Prince. We always love Prince, and we and I was just so disappointed when I heard that. So I want to know what the heck was going on. I want to, you know, I want to know. Um, so I'm just gonna <clears throat> call to the spirits. I'm getting a really cold chill up my legs. <clears throat> so definitely some stuff is getting ready to come out in this reading. Um, so we're gonna see, you know, what's going on presently. So maybe just his spirit, cause he's in spirit. Um, so we'll see what's going on. Even spirit or maybe just how they're handling his estate because this is a 10-card spread. So we're going to look at present day for Prince and then uh, what, what happened in his past to cause the death. You know, we want to know specifically why he was using fentanyl. That's pretty terrible. Um, subconscious influences. What was Prince's secrets, desires, and wishes? Um, the hidden forces, events yet to come. So this is a future card. So I'll say that, you know, what can we expect? Like it, this will be interesting because it'll probably have something to do with, you know, his music or something. Um, so that'll be a future card, card number six, card number seven. Um, where is Prince at now? What is his environment? How is his afterlife? Um, the influence of others. So how are, what are the spirits around them? You know, or just, you know, maybe in and out of the spirit realm. You know, it doesn't necessarily, so I'll just see what the card, what the spirits say. And then uh, what are the spiritual forces behind the death and a final outcome. So we'll just see what the final outcome says. I guess I'll just use that as a second future card what can, what we can expect maybe it's something completely like we wasn't what we weren't expecting so uh i've been stuttering lately i hate when i do that i think when i stutter that that means that you have a lot i think stuttering means that you have a lot that you need to say that needs to be said i think that's why people stutter all right, so up oh, we're at four minutes. All right, so um, I, by the way, I can do this for your relatives that have passed away. So if you need a medium reading, um, and it's a thirty minute, you can do uh, you can get a medium read for twenty five dollars. Okay, but it's different from it's totally different from in a tarot. I use the tarot cards. But it's a it's a more distant. I, I think it's a little bit more distant. So
this video is definitely going to be more than 25 minutes long, or I'm sorry, 15 minutes long. So it'll get uploaded to my other channel. Okay. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and let's explore Prince and, you know, his spirits and, you know, what happened to kind of explain what happened. So for um, present day for Prince, he has the Ten of Cups. That's so beautiful. We love you, Prince, by the way. Um, Ten of Cups in the Deviant Moon is a wounded soldier coming home. Okay? So he was wounded. I think that that's very symbolic. Um, maybe, I don't know if there was something wrong with his leg. Let me look that up real quick because I'm going to really explore this and this video will probably be kind of long. Okay, so Prince definitely suffered from pain from years of performing. And he had a battle with his hip. So, um, he had problems with his hip. Which hip was it? Because this would be his, his right. So he was in pain. Okay, he was in pain all the time. I just confirmed it. So it was something wrong with his leg. I don't know if it was the right or the left one. Probably this one. Probably the right one. So... Sometimes I think when people overdose, it's like a mercy killing. And that's why they were trying to throw the doctor in jail. And I think they did, the one that killed Michael Jackson. It's kind of like a mercy killing probably. If he was in pain all the time, people don't know what pain does to people. Um, he also had throat and stomach pain. So he did have some health issues. So his body was weary, let's put it like that, okay? So, you know, Prince, I, I hope people are not calling him a drug addict and stuff like that because, you know, sore throats, frequent upsets, upset stomach. Um, but definitely the, the leg, and it's interesting because there's a sword so I get the sense that he had like shooting pain in his leg. Okay, so this car came up for a reason. It, it let us know where he's at and he's not in pain anymore, obviously, <clears throat> you know, a wounded. That's what the, the little, um, cause I love the Deviant Moon and I always reference the book cause somebody was saying, use your intuition, use your, and I do, I do, but sometimes I can't find the words. And sometimes I'm going through block, you know, reading the cards can be, you can get writer's block sometimes. So it's good to have a reference just to confirm with what you're thinking. That's really what I do. I'll go to the book to confirm what I'm thinking about that particular card sometimes. And then it'll give me the words. Um, but the Deviant Moon has like a little story behind each card. And so, uh, this one is a wounded soldier coming home to his family. So that's pretty, um, pretty, what do you call that? Comforting, that he's happy. So he's presently happy. Now what happened in the past? He was carrying a burden. Now the 10 means that there was a completion. You know, Prince felt complete. But he was carrying some sort of burden with him. Something that made him probably question his manhood. Because the wands represents the man. And you know, everybody thought Prince was gay. <laughs> I don't know if he was gay or not. He was very eccentric. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, when I have to huff like that, ugh. And people be like, oh, she's swallowing it. No, it's just like a clearing of the throat, but it's deeper because it's a post, it's a drip and it sucks. 
because <clears throat> of my allergies. I have it really bad by this window. So that's why I was listening to some throat chakra meditation. So, because as soon as my meditation went out, like the, the browser crashed as soon as it went out, I had to huff. So it's something, to win something's up with my throat. Ten of wands, this is typically male energy, <clears throat> you know, that masculine energy. You know, so you can imagine how heavy, you know. But he was strong enough to carry it. But, you know, he just didn't want to anymore. Is what I am getting. So what was going on subconsciously with Prince? We got the hermit. He felt alienated. I think a lot of us that could see what Prince was going through, you know, and have thought about it, we can just imagine that. So the Hermit is a major, <clears throat> major arcana. Um, this coming up in the subconscious field or the, <laughs> the subconscious field, the subconscious placement or in the deck. This is his, this represents his subconscious influences behind the death. So the hermit is a major arcana. So he had major, major, you know, issues with, you know, loneliness, feeling alienated. I mean, you can have a whole bunch of people around you in the same house and still feel lonely and alienated. Okay. Sorry, guys. There's these um, huge bugs that come from the woods. <laughs> and they try to, you can hear them trying to get in the window. You can hear them. And it's so creepy. And it's a spirit. Um, I am doing a, a tarot card reading and I did connect with Prince's spirit. So, of course, things will start coming in. So, let me light some incense. I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> Give me a second. Um, there's spirits in bugs and stuff. Just to let you guys know, this is kind of like my little room that I work in. So I got a huge table in here. Yeah, it's really bizarre. And it seems like, like after I did a whole bunch of readings down here, like we just had droves of them coming in. So I had to do a cleanse. So there's a spirit trying to come in, another one that isn't Prince. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some um, salt by the window, okay? Happy with cotton, bind it with love, protection with pain. All right, I'm gonna draw a circle around me. Sorry, guys. And nothing scary or weird can enter this circle that can harm me. <laughs> I have to, you know, here's the thing. I'm doing a celebrity reading. So, you know, Prince had spirits. He was very angelic and very sweet and loving and giving. Um, so, yeah, and I actually got colder also. So I'm going to run and ask. I'm sorry, guys. I told you guys this video was going to be kind of long. So you can go grab your popcorn or something because I'm only on the third. Oops, third card. Hey, guys. Can you call me down the blanket? Because I'm going to throw me down the blanket. Mommy just got cold. And you guys, <laughs> you're cheating. You're not going by the diagram. Uh, oh, that's why you have that light on. Okay. Thank you, baby. All right. Sorry. Like, as soon as I started really, and it, it, you know, I don't know what that it's, you know, when bugs and stuff like that try to come in or something weird. I mean, you could hear it tapping. I don't know if you could hear it on the tape. We'll see whenever. And just leave a comment if you could hear that. It was actually tapping, it was a spirit. 
But it would it would have came in as a bug. Okay, it would have came in as a huge cockroach. Huge. They come out of the woods. So there's a lot of spirits around me around here. I absolutely love it. I do. I love it. I love spirits. So, you know, subconsciously, there was this feeling of aloneness. You know, maybe even feeling trapped. You know, especially if he had an addiction. And, you know, so, yeah. And... I think, you know, this card really represents him a lot. You know, he was only 112 pounds. And I this is going to go up on the Queen Jamila High Priestess. And I'm going to do a promo for this because that's just crazy for a spirit to be trying to get in this house as soon as I, you know, start throwing the cards on Prince. So, you know, and I actually started to get very cold. The room got colder. So, um, but it's okay. It's fine. You know, it's just, it happens during readings. Um, secret desires and wishes. Now, he had the page of pentacles. This is a person. And the page of pentacles is typically someone... Um, very restless, somebody that just likes to shake things up. So this is a person. So there was a person that he desired. I'm seeing a male. It may be a son. Maybe he wanted a child. I don't know if Prince had children. But I can see it as being that. Or it could be, you know, just the attention of another person. Male is what I'm seeing within this card. I think that's why this card came up. Um, I think there was... I just saw it. I don't know if y'all saw that. <laughs> but that was really eerie and creepy. Okay? So if you see any shadows back there, don't get alarmed. I'm doing a reading. <laughs> okay? So... You know, Prince definitely, his presence is here, and he brought a couple of other people with him. Evidently, they wanted to come by and say hello. <laughs> um, Page of Pentacles. I'm seeing this as a person. You know, I'm seeing this as, as a male. Um, I'm not saying that Prince was gay or anything like that, but there was something, you know, something within that. Yeah, it's really interesting. I will get this. Um, it's a possibility that the zodiac sign of the person was a cancer. Can't, no, not, yeah, cancer. I'm seeing claws. So whoever this person was, <clears throat> they were really just very, you know, What's the word I'm looking for? The Page of Pentacles is a younger person. <laughs> so the person was definitely younger. And that's why I was thinking it could be a son. So maybe Prince has a son somewhere that he's not able to see or that he was, you know, I'm seeing more so a son. Um, I think, oh, he, Prince had, that's why I saw that strange figure. Prince's son is here. Prince's son is actually in the spirit world because I was thinking a few minutes ago when I saw the smoke form, that, that figure, that eerie figure, I was thinking, you know, it could be a son. He was very, Prince had a child that passed away. He was very, very, he wanted to be with his son. And I think his son came in a few minutes ago. I'm I'm just not even joking. And I think he wanted to be with his son. I was I was trying to put my finger on it. Like I'm I'm almost one okay, I've got to search. I'm thinking that the sun is a water sign. Let me look it up because I know that the child passed away. I was like, okay, October 16th. What what is October? Oh my goodness, because I was thinking water sign because of the claws. 
and October the 16th, that's got to be a Scorpio. No, it's a Libra. Interesting. Well, I mean, it's very close. Shit. Spirits got real close on that one. So, um, what are the hidden forces behind, you know, the, the death? I was asking for that. And there was, here, look at this. Wow, this is really interesting. You know what I'm seeing with this card? I am seeing a woman, <laughs> you know. Now, this is what an actual reading is like. That's why I like to do these because this is a real, this is not a general reading. This is a, a very um, specific It's a very specific, very personalized reading for Prince. I'm seeing a woman. I'm seeing a woman. Might be the ex-wife. Trying to think of what. I know that, that the ex-wife was a dancer or something. So I, I think it was the relationship depressed him. And the fact that the, I think this is the baby mama. Who is she? I don't know much about her. See, that's what I'm saying. I know that she was probably somebody very beautiful, very, very pretty. <laughs> you know, because um, he loved pretty women. <clears throat> okay, give me a second. So I want to... Mighty Garcia. Oh, she's a belly dancer. I, wow why did the belly dancer come up that's since and and i just like literally these were random <laughs> so i'm not trying to implicate her in the in the crime or anything no mighty i wouldn't do that <laughs> but the hidden forces behind the death i think it was something about her she may not have done it on purpose isn't that weird? Like, I know you guys are freaking out right now because you know that I didn't, you know that I just threw these cards, right? And I knew that she was a dancer. I didn't know she was a freaking belly dancer. <laughs> Specifically, I didn't know that. Now, the belly dancer in this photo has sort of an evil look on her face. There's a lot of symbolism in this photo. Especially the death thingy on the butt, the buttocks. You see that? That's a skull. Wow. <clears throat> so she may have had something to do with it, but it may not have been her directly. Just something dealing with her, which was the baby. I think Prince never fully recovered from the death of that baby. I think he may blame her in some way. So there's some sort of hidden knowledge about that that is not being told. And I'm not going to say too much because I don't know who this woman is. Hell, <laughs> you know, but I mean, I kind of get a bad feeling from this card. Where is that smoke coming from? It's, it's got to be coming from here. But why is it showing up all the way back there? Oh, it's the spirit kind of bouncing off of that flame. It's a spirit bouncing off of the flame of my candle. I have lit it, but it's showing up on the camera. There's no incense lit back there. So that energy that you're seeing, it's energy coming from the spell work that I'm doing, but it's also reacting to the medium reading that I'm doing. I'm also getting a headache from this card. So I don't know what's up with that. Um, events yet to come. We got the three of swords. So something is up in this situation. I can see um, something's going to happen with this Maiti Garcia. Something is going to happen. There's going to be a lot of issues surrounding Prince. There's going to be some stuff coming up. Three of Swords. This represents the three. The mother, the son, and the child. And this is heartache. 
and pain and despair. She may be a, she may be getting ready to pass away too. I hate to say that. You know, I don't want to scare anybody. But something devastating is going to happen. And I think it has something to do with her. <clears throat> because she and the baby is all over this reading. And the spirits are really talking. They bouncing off of that, that camera. It's like they, it's not camera, but it's bouncing. You see it? There's a smoke back there. Where the hell is that coming from? There's nothing lit. You can see all of the spirits in this house right now. Footprints. <laughs> and then when I start sneezing, that's when you really know it's a spirit. Three of Swords. I don't know if Prince had allergies. Maybe that's why I'm having like a little allergy attack. <clears throat> I'll have to check that. <laughs> but Three of Swords, something is coming up. I would say around fall. That's going to have something to do with the baby and the baby mama. And it's going to be in the news. Okay. It's going to have something to do with his death. It'll probably be in the tabloids. It's going to be some kind of... There, there's, there, there's going to be a lot of talk about this. And I think it's going to cause her to suffer a lot. Okay? Um, I think that she already is suffering. But I think that it's going to get worse. And I think that it's going to involve Prince and the baby. Um, something is up there. So just keep that in mind, guys. Now, what is Prince's surrounding environment? We got the Seven of Wands. There's a, guys, I swear to you, there, a lot of people think people be using tricks and stuff. You either believe it or you don't believe it. But the only thing lit back there is that candle. So spirits will bounce off of fire energy. That's why we always use candles. Usually the pillar candles is what we use when we're doing mediumship readings. But it's it's reacting to that candle. That's I mean, because I'm doing a, a reading. And it got colder in here too. So there's a lot of spirits in here right now. Um, what is his surrounding environment? I see him surrounded by a lot of angels. Why do I say that they're male angels? They're protecting him. He has a lot of protection for some reason. Prince was being spiritually attacked, evidently, for the Seven of Wands to come up because he, he had a lot of, he worked with male deities and male angels. And, you know, of course he was male. But this is a person, you know, that's running through having an issue in life, some sort of struggle, some sort of, um, conflict maybe and the wands so Prince was going through some sort of conflict spiritually also and all of these wands because they're lit up the seven also is a lucky number there's definitely something going on in here where he's you know running from something or trying to you know seek some sort of protection and all of those wands around that little girl or that you know around Prince but I'm talking about in the illustration, those are protection. That's male protection energy. Okay, so the smoke is traveling all the way back there. I do have an incense lit and I do have sandalwood lit. Um, so that's must be, but well, why is it showing up all the way back there? Like why it's over here. Why would it, unless it's traveling but I actually saw a figure form. So if you go back and you saw that, you know, it was it was like a, that's what they do. They shape stuff. Like I've seen spirits come through candle flames. I've seen the candle, the candle just kind of flare out into the shape of a person. I've seen the flame do that before. I've seen, you know, flames twist and turn. That's why I really like the pillar candles a lot. But this seven of wands right here, um, this represents his surrounding environment. So he has a lot of people around him that are taking care of him. Because there's some sort of spiritual battle. Go figure, he's a famous person. <laughs> so 
Um, <clears throat> what is the influence of others? And I asked, what is the influence of others over the death? What influence did others have over his death? Again, we have another woman. <clears throat> um, it might be the same woman. Coincidentally, the queen of swords is a core card. She always represents a widow or a childless woman. <clears throat> so this is the, again, Maiti showing up in his reading. So there was some sort of perception. Some, now, first of all, the queen is very sad. This queen of swords, she has a sadness about herself, kind of almost a bitterness. She's very intelligent. You know, she's uh, one of the most intelligent, you know, queens. All of them are intelligent. I, would, I don't want to say one of them is more, but she's all about perception. So there was some sort of perception that she put in his mind. And I don't know if it was she, you know, this queen was playing mind games with them. I think it's the same one. So this is Mighty. She showed up first as the belly dancer, remember? That's why I like using this deck. Yeah, that's a trip, isn't it? Eerie and scary. So Mighty, I don't know what's up with her, but she's showing up in this reading. And she's obviously in the reading. And she obviously has something to do with his death. Inadvertently or advertently. I don't want to say either way. You know, I kind of believe that it was kind of, kind of, you know, I don't really, I'm not seeing their relationship as being very good. And I feel like it was still affecting him. I think that there was something hidden, something, some sort of secret. But that's all I'm going to say. Spiritual forces, there is some sort of battle going on right now for Prince's soul. There's a battle going on in the spirit world for Prince. <laughs> and he's kind of like hiding out from him. Matter of fact, he still is. I don't even think Prince done crossed over yet. I, I, you know, that's that's what I'm getting from this. He's not dealing with with all of this this crap. Okay, I really feel that's why Hermit showed up. He's still sort of hiding out, and then this one, this one too. So there's some sort of battle over Prince, even though he's passed away. Now, for this to show up in the spiritual forces. <clears throat> really speaks to a conflict five of wands is about conflict so there's four people involved typically this does mean that prince is coming off on top though i think he's overcoming it whatever it is but he's fighting in the spirit world right now there's some sort of, um, you know, conflict or loss of something, you know, people, you know, other spirits wanting something from him. Um, but there's definitely some sort of conflict or competition a plane is going over. I kind of feel like they're still fighting over money, but it's not money. It's actually spiritual wealth. I feel like there was there's a lot of like Prince is like he's a lot of energy, which is why a bunch of stuff started happening. Spirits tapping on the window. As soon as I started the reading and I, you know, I wasn't expecting for that to happen. A lot of people say you have one of your kids tap on them. You know, a lot of people are really, really. Um. What's the word that I'm looking for? They're just like, they discount everything. It's like, well, it was obvious that, because it's happened before. It's happened a lot. It happens a lot when I'm in this room, because I'm right by these woods. <laughs> so a lot of spirits. But anyway, five of wands. I think it's males also. You know, male, you know, spirits. Mainly male spirits. Okay. Um, final outcome. I don't know how to take this, but seven of cups. 
Obviously, it's about emotions. I think they're going to build some sort of monument to Prince. I can see that in this card. <laughs> I used my intuition. I think they're going to build or paint or something, you know, I think build. Um, because the what they're painting is multidimensional or whatever you call it. It's a 3D. So, but I'm seeing statue. I think they're going to erect a statue for Prince. Oh my goodness. Wow. I know they're getting ready to do a wax for him. They already did. I think they're going to do another one. Is what I'm seeing. So you, you should be seeing that very soon. Probably the end of the summer. They're going to erect some sort of statue. I think it's going to be a statue. I think somebody is going to put up a statue for him or something. Is what I'm seeing. Um, typically the seven. Because you can see. Oh you can see someone standing behind it. Behind the artist. You can see a person standing behind it now usually this is about confusion though there's going to be confusion around it chaos around it a lot of people are not going to agree with it they're going to call him a drug addict they're going to say why should we do this for him and it's going to be a big uproar so there's going to be some confusion i think they should let people do it let them do it why not he was an icon he's a legend he's a god but I'm a polytheist, so, you know, I believe in many gods. But, yeah, I can see with this card there's going to be a statue or something that's going to go up and it's going to cause chaos and confusion. Okay? It's what I'm seeing. Because I was just like, well, what should I? Because, you know, he's passed on so, or, or he's, you know, not of the physical world anymore. You know, I think he's still in this. I think he's still very, very, very close. Okay, and I think it has something to do with uh, Maytee. I think he, I think he still loved her or something. I think it was some sort of heartache, you know, between them. Some couples do not. I don't know if they were together when he passed away. Let me check, cause I, you know, I don't want to sound like I'm uninformed. Um, but I believe they were divorced. Someone was not, yeah. It was a very tragic loss. Uh, the, the whole relationship was tragic also. They had a really, it, well, the fact that he ended up passing away, you know. I think there's also going to be some confusion surrounding his money, his estate. Absolutely. Um, I think she may end up disappointed over something. Yeah, she's his first wife, so he was not with her. So there's going to be some confusion about his estate as well as some controversy around a statue that they're going to erect for him. Okay. That's going to do it for the Prince reading, guys. Remember, you can get your reading for $25. Um, I have a summer special going on right now because a lot of people, you know. Experience the phenomenon. Oh, this Sorry. Audiences <laughs> everywhere. Can't get enough of full sorry um so anyway yeah that was a page that opened up and and it was a video that was playing it was a page that reloaded on firefox firefox is so weird um i don't know why full house came up now you can really see the smoke because it's blowing in this direction but at first it was it's it's so weird i don't know the smoke formed a figure there was a, a kind of like a i don't know and it popped up it was like so when I see stuff like that, you know, because I know spirits take shape and form in things, especially fire and water and smoke. So it's really interesting. But anyway, I'm going to do more of these. I'm going to, you know, ask all the spirits to leave, you know, um, because they were kind of, you know, um, but I don't know why full house. Interesting, isn't that what does full house mean? Doesn't that mean some sort of gambling? I, I mm, okay. Well, you, 
I, I don't know how to take that. Like I'm doing a Prince reading and for the this video comes up and you know how it's randomly chosen for whatever the advertisement is. And it's an advertisement for the new, um, for the new, um, what is that? I'm sorry. <laughs> for the new Full House movie. And I don't know, the spirits are kind of, because I'm trying to like dissipate them. But um, for it to come up and Full House means an audience or a group of people attending a meeting that fills the venue for the event to capacity. So that didn't come up for nothing. Um, <laughs> I didn't do it. What I did was I accidentally clicked on a tab and it automatically reloaded that page. So I think that Prince, you know, he's ready for a performance. Also, I think they're going to do one of those, um, um, you know, where they, what is that thing that they do? Hologram. There's going to be some sort of hologram coming up soon. And Prince wants a full house. I think that's why that, I, I really do think, I, I think Prince is just like, he's expecting, it will be a full house. It will be like a mega event is coming up. And, you know, you know, with stuff like that, confusion and chaos comes out, there's going to be rumors and all that stuff about Prince. And, you know, I don't think he's happy about that. But, you know, I think Prince was pretty much, um, as far as spiritually, you know, I think that he, he was, he's, he's at peace. I feel that he's at peace, but there's still some things he has to deal with. So that's going to do it, guys. Um, contact me at Queen Jamila. 941 at gmail.com um also if you want to connect with me so that you can you know maybe get a reading come to my facebook i'll link that in the video description box if you want to get a reading and you just want to you know send me a reading or a donation um the links are in the video description box also my paypal email address is queen jamila 941 at gmail.com thank you so much for watching and make sure that you subscribe to this channel um, because there's more videos coming and then I also do live shows from this channel. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Namaste.